Avery White, roll please. Okay, Avery White, case number 19 CRB 1087. You're here for purposes of sentencing today on the charge of criminal mischief. Criminal mischief is a misdemeanor of the third degree and does carry with it a possible sentence of up to 60 days in jail and or a fine of up to $500. Uh, we're here today for sentencing. I requested that the uh, victims of the damaging be present and we and our victims advocate will introduce them now or have them introduce themselves, please. This is Terry. He's a uh, part owner of Grand River Railway. Hi, Terry. And I've seen the photographs, we've all seen the photographs of the damage. Well, you saw it personally. And uh, what do you think? Well, Your Honor, uh, first off, I was not directly involved. I was not there, but uh, my co-owner and our conductor was there. Um, we purchased the caboose from CSX recently, and I'm in the process of refurbishing it. So <laughs> we've got to say that we're just very pleased that this didn't occur before, I should say after we painted the new paint and so yeah. forth, because we're very close to sandblasting and putting in okay. the new paint. I ask this, this is, I mean, this is a small business you have pretty much, isn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. two and a half miles of railroad, uh, Dave, myself, and our third partner, we uh, have $2.4 million loan, personal loan, and it makes you very motivated. Yeah. We think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Mortensol is our primary customer. And we interchange uh, with CSX Transportation for transportation of uh, salt to all the destinations all over east of the Mississippi. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yes, we are a very small company. Uh, we're very sensitive to liability and so forth. As you know, liability can kill a company, especially in a small one. Especially in this world today. I've been in the railroad business for 45 years and obviously seen a lot of things. And the two concerns, as I say, that I have are uh, that we're glad that this didn't occur after we spent the money to refurbish the goods. And number two, people tend to believe that the railroad property is not private property but public property. <laughs> I, I, I only laugh because I, I know that to be true and that has to stop. It's, a, it's not a dangerous environment at all, but it can be made dangerous for people that don't understand what can occur and what isn't going to occur. Well, I, I would guess there's, there's injuries and deaths every year because of people you know, spray painting uh, the train you see, you see them as they go by. Now, you are not CSX, you're not Norfolk Southern, you're not the Canadian Pacific Railroad. You're a small business down there with, yes. with how, many, how many cars do you have? Really? You have an engine and a caboose, is that about it? Then, CSX for 13 years. Right. So you had to put it all tracks? Yeah, so we refurbished it and brought it back into operation. And of course, it took a lot of forces to make that happen. It wasn't just us. It was Mortis Hall, CSX, us, and others. But yeah. We found a way. Well, it makes a great story, too. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, we had this gentleman here, I can call him that, but at least he comes to court here dressed up in an appearance that's respectful. I Notice that when he comes in. I notice his mother is here with him, correct? Yes. Okay, we're going to the plus column here, all right? But still, there was something that was done. Uh, I, what tells me is, is mom is here. Uh, oftentimes, that's not the case. Uh, you're concerned about him. Anything you want to say before I go ahead with sentencing about your son? Did you, did you want to come up here? Sure. I, you could, yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to say that um, he is a, a number one, um, a very outstanding young man. Um, he's a great example to his younger brothers. Um, this was an unfortunate situation. Um, and this is the first time offense for him. Um, I understand. So in terms of um, his um, stature, he's been a bundle of nerves for the last several months. As he should be. Right. 
Right, so this we are not taking lightly. Um, and I just want to say, you know, whatever will be, will be, but he is, um, he's an outstanding young man. Um, he did graduate um, and went all through school with, um, you know, A's and B's, and I just want okay. to say he's a good kid. Okay, you're not going to come in here and, and tell me that, like they usually do, it's, he has, you know, some mental problem because he, he flunked finger painting in kindergarten, right. so now he has this depression, he has to paint things or something. Right. Okay, all right. Well, he's owning up to it. That's, yes. That's, that's the good thing. But, you know, we get so much destruction in here, just vandalism anymore, and there's no accountability for it. You know, we, I mean, they get everything in here from uh, destroying in the park. They just destroy trees. They have that one kid that knocked down the Wi-Fi extender. Uh, tip tips over the porta potties. Just destruction, and there's f for no reason for that. You know, and, and then they come in, and usually get parents coming in here and go, well, you know, Jason or Liam, you know, we had a bad childhood, and all kinds of excuses. He needs to have mental health. Well, sick of that. I'm glad you don't do that. You're here, and, and I'm going to ask you right now, um, Avery, what you would like to say before I proceed with sentencing. You can stand here and stand towards the microphones. Um, upon finding out that the girl I was with, her plates were um, taken down, and I then proceeded to call the Lake County Sheriff, and I wanted to just clear everything up because I didn't want her getting into any trouble because the girl that was with me had nothing to do with it. I owned up to everything I did. You did. Not saying what I did was right. Full responsibility is. Uh, it took them time to, you know, for the damage. Fortunately, you know, you needed to have it painted anyways. You were, you were fortunate on that. But I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the artwork that's here, and you know, first impression as well as gang work. Well, I can tell you what, gang work isn't that. That's bad art. That's not even close to being good. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. There's, a, there's consequences to be paid, and I want the message not only for you, but, you know, for all the, for everybody else that goes out in this community. And I, and some of these kids just aren't getting it. But you can't go around destroying property just for the fun of it. So I'm going to give you your choice here today, and it's uh, one that I hope you'll take the option. But perhaps you need a little lesson in, compared to this, maybe in, in, in fine art, okay? So you have your choice of 10 days of jail to be determined by probation, or we were looking yesterday at those railings right out in front over here, the, the uh, day, and they really need paint. And uh, the black railings are somewhat decorative, they're not used, but they're, they're in horrible shape, they have rust on them. So if you want to do some painting, instead of going to jail, you can do that, okay? You can scrape them. Paint them. I don't know if they're going to do it today. You can probably get started on that today if you have another shirt. My mom can go home and get you another shirt and change your clothes. No, I gotta go get to work now. Where do you work? Spudlock. Spudlock County. Well, how, why would you tell them you're coming to court today and not knowing who got to put you in jail? I think coming to court is a little bit more important than Spudlock today. So you have to report to Spudlock today? Yes. You can't get excused from work today. Well, what if I put you in jail? Well, I'm not going to have to lose your job uh, since you're employed. But you're going to go ahead out there and do the railings. You're going to scrape them and then, and then paint them. The only difference is uh, you're going to do fine arts. You're going to paint them with this. So you take your choice. What is it? I'll take the second option, Your Honor. Okay, we'll set it up with probation and we'll have you go out there and it might take you a while. But that's the lesson to be learned. Thank you. Gentlemen, thank you for coming in. Thank you, Your Honor. Welcome.
It's one of my old ones. <laughs> I got a new one in my last dental appointment, so I said this one left. Paul Orlowski. How are you, Runner? The big O, how you doing? Good. Is that the next case? <laughs> 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 no, he's got about a year Five to go. Times. He's got about one year to go, right? A year and a half, yep. Oh, year and a half? Yeah. yeah. At the end of the next year. Paul, can take a picture? Yeah, September. Yeah, September 20th is mine. Well, they got me to stay in September 20th. Give me your phone. Yeah. That's my last day, September 20th. What day is September 20th? 20th. I was supposed to uh, have surgery 